The novel starts with Charles Bobbery. Because of his mother's persistence, he manages to finish high school and becomes a doctor. After he was hired in a place nearby, his mother imposed a future wife upon him. He married a woman that constantly complained about chest pains and lack of attention. After some time, Charles' mother, that is a know-it-all, starts a fight with her daughter-in-law and Charles' wife dies from a heart attack. A man from an estate breaks his leg and Charles goes to take care of him. As time passes by, he becomes their regular guest due to the man's daughter, Emma. Charles asked Emma to marry him and she accepts. She tried to satisfy him in every way, takes care of the house, and enjoys the married life. In spite of all of it, Emma realizes she isn't happy anymore. She used to live in a convent and she was overthrown by the love novels she used to read and she expected her life to be like one of those novels. She didn't like living in the province either. She wanted excitement, passion, and she got a dull marriage. On one occasion, Marquis d'Andervilliers needed Charles' favor in his castle, and while he was paying the bill, he met Emma and was left astonished with her elegance. He invited the couple to a ball. Emma enjoyed the ball, and while she was surrounded with nobility, she felt ashamed of Charles. After the ball, Emma thinks about how hard her life is next to Charles. She neglected all of her duties. Her looks and health were also suffering because of her state of mind. She began to look pale, got dizzy often, and felt her heart beating fast. Charles moved with Emma to a bigger province called Yonville Abbey. Emma also found out she was pregnant. In the new town, they've met a pharmacist, Tom Ives, who's interested in Charles prescribing his medications. They also met a lawyer, Leon Dupuy. Emma had numerous interesting conversations with him that she never had with Charles. Soon, she gave birth to a little girl called Bert. Leon admired Emma and fell in love with her. She was also popular in the society because of her saving successful house management and her taking care of the poor and ill. Emma becomes more and more dissatisfied and she looks for comfort in the church, but it was pointless. Leon moved to Paris and gave up on Emma because he considered her to be unreachable. Emma's mother-in-law forbids her from reading her love novels because she thought they had a bad influence on her. Emma accidentally meets Rodolphe Boulanger and they fall in love. Soon they became lovers and Emma is overthrown with them. Charles even bought her a horse so she can go riding with Rodolphe because he didn't even doubt her. Emma's conscience doesn't leave her alone, and she starts thinking about how better it would be if she was in love with her husband. It all starts happening because Rodolph stops trying to win her over, and she doesn't feel the thrill she used to feel in the beginning. She got disappointed in Charles after a failed surgery, so she goes running back to Rodolph. She doesn't hide her love and becomes the main gossip. Emma started arranging her runaway with her lover and daughter. Rodolph changed his mind in the last second, and in a letter he explained to her that it was destiny's fault. Emma gets ill and spends 43 days in fever. Charles had money problems because Emma was spending it everywhere. Emma starts to recover, but instead of committing herself to her family, she commits entirely to God. Charles takes her to Paris where she encounters Leon again. Charles leaves them alone and soon after Emma started seeing Leon. She got out of control and Leon concluded that he can't keep up with her rhythm. Emma goes deeper into debts and she can't pay them off. No one wants to help her, so she took some arsenic from the pharmacist's storage. She wrote a letter to Charles, and when he realized what was happening, Emma died. Charles begins to realize what she had done, but holds no grudges. He starts going to waste, and, and then he dies. His daughter found him dead. Bert lived with her grandmother, and after her death at her aunt's that found her a job in a cotton factory.